This is part two, and this is the lakeside walk. This is double R. Hope you all enjoyed part one. Just behind me is the lake. Just in front of me is a nice field and a lovely little picnic bench. So we continue the walk. And just there, I think there used to be a little stream. And there is plenty of benches staggered along the pathway. Oh, and there is a little nest, little ducks. Chilling by the water's edge and a couple of swans just there as well. And not forgetting the geese over there. So I have been told that there are beavers operating along the lake side. Always smiling. Building their little dams. Not so any evidence of that yet. Hopefully we might and there's some big thick old trees around as well there's a life life ring just down there which is completely hidden no good if someone falls in the water and you've got to try and play hide and seek with a life ring to help someone out the water. Just there is a crow in front and oh, just purchased itself on a log. Would be lovely to do this walk. <gasps> oh, there's a little robin. Just there. <sighs> Wildlife at its finest. And there's the crow minding his own business. Oh, there's two crows. There's a little sign here. Fit for a tent. I've had to say, there is a lot of scenic, beautiful views. to touch give you a better better view I wonder if the beavers operate around this area as there is a lot of fallen trees and wood maybe It, this would be the perfect location.
another beautiful scenic view there's a little sign there saying do not disturb as they're planting new trees there's a little pigeon there as well having five minutes enjoying the scenery just noticed these wooden there's quite a few of them so the roots have been carved into jagged shapes it's actually quite nice a bit eerie but quite beautiful to look at so the walk is around a mile and uh, we've done I'd say halfway so far it's quite a nice walk uh, a lot of people walking the dogs as well as you can see the uh, the jagged tree roots just behind me and just in front we have a nice little view of the lake little embankment just here where new trees have been planted just notice this little passageway that you can walk through I think it's made for young children so they can run through it and hide and I think that's an eye that, as we walk around another log here which can be used for sitting on and also just here we have a bench and just on the water there rest on the log is another fairy and we also have a little duck just minding its own business So with beautiful scenery like this, I've decided to take a seat on the bench and just film. I've never really had a duck come out of the water and be that close and just be so calm and also just over there a little baby duck pass by it's just so peaceful I'm glad I sat down and caught that on film I have to say that was amazing just to be so close to nature, just sat there it's a shame there was there we didn't have any bread or any uh, any little seeds or anything for the duck to have 
nice little area just here as well I think that's the dragon's nest and I'm sure the sign says now running or climbing uh -huh. so this is what they meant when they said the dragon's nest So there is a variety of paths, there's one there and I think there's one further over that you can take. We chose the one closest to the lake. So just approaching where we have a little gathering of, I don't know if it's swans or geese. A few more ducks about as well. Yeah. I'm going to walk very carefully. There we have a few little colleagues just here. This must be the local chilling area. Quite a few. No sort of movements. Yeah. Little gathering point just here. Oh, someone's not happy. That was quite magical. To see him, um, not a care in the world. Walk past, and they didn't even, didn't even give me a second look. And there's a helicopter approaching. I don't know if you can hear or see. Just up there. And we've just found some little sculptures. Just tucked away. The beetle. I think they're both beetles tucked away in this little forest area just here Just walking along the path and I've noticed this. Even though it's closed, look at those joined almost like hives where the birds can go in. I think they're constructing a bridge just there. Oh Zoomed in a little bit much. That looks wonderful. Well, back on with the walk. So, just got back onto the path, and we have a running stream passing through underneath us, and just there. Oh. That must run right down into the lake.
Oh. Trying to find a robin. I think he's fluttered oh, off. So just wondering why this side of the the path there's a big fence. Apparently that is the monkey forest over there where you can walk through. And this is quite a decent walk. I can feel the back of my legs start to burn a little bit. But there is plenty of lovely scenery to look at. And hopefully in the next couple of minutes you should be approaching the cafe. There's a little sign. Burke's Wood. So this is the path we've been following. And there's the lake. Just past the trees and bushes. Just grab myself a flat white and some flapjacks. And just there, this is the cafe. Quite nice inside. They serve hot and cold food, ice creams, a few uh, cold beverages as well. Let's have a peek into my flat white. How that? There we have a lovely flat white. Just finished at the little cafe area and there's just a place here where you can hire out these kayaks to go onto the lake. Canoe sorry, not kayaks, Trentham Canoe Club. There was just a sign on that gate. Um, apparently, this part of the wall is actually the beaver enclosure. And the sign says to keep the gate shut so the beavers don't wander off. And as you can see, there's fencing all along. And there's, look at this tree, over the bark. It's all the way up. It's almost like spaghetti all over the tree. approaching another little bridge thank you and just here A little baby duck. So yes, this area around here 
is apparently where the beavers operate. just got approaching I should say the other gate and this is the end of part two and I shall be bringing you part three shortly